Well, my background is uh, a board certified infectious disease specialist, 15 years of clinical practice. And I do see patients uh, as an infectious disease specialist. I also uh, am the chief medical officer here at the hospital, although the opinions I'm expressing are my own, not reflective of the hospital. Antibiotic resistance is, I think, one of the most uh, concerning developments in, in all of medicine for public health. In order to understand the seriousness of the threat that resist antibiotic resistance causes, you have to understand how important antibiotics are, right? Antibiotics have caused massive reductions in death across a variety of types of diseases and have enabled a number of different life-saving medical practices. We would not have cancer chemotherapy, complex surgical management, intensive care unit, tra organ transplants, care for premature babies, if we didn't have effective antibiotics. As you lose the antibiotics due to resistance, it threatens all of those medical advances. Our only opportunity to reduce resistance is to eliminate unnecessary antibiotic use. And since most antibiotic use is unnecessary, if we can eliminate it, we will greatly slow the spread of resistance and prolong the useful lives of these life-saving antibiotics. I think people are surprised when they learn that about 70% of the antibiotics sold in the United States are put into animals, not people. Two and a half times the amount that go into humans to treat disease goes into animals. And the vast majority of that is not to treat sick animals. Nobody's complaining about treating infected sick animals. The vast majority is used to growth promote livestock. And as people have complained about growth promotion, the people using the antibiotics have changed the name to prevention. Right? We don't prevent infections in people with antibiotics. Why would it be acceptable to prevent them in, in healthy animals? That is a gross misuse of antibiotics. People ask the question, how much of the resistant infections in people can be attributed to antibiotic use in animals? CDC has estimated 20% of human resistant infections can be linked to animal agricultural use of antibiotics. I suspect the number is probably higher, but the real answer is it doesn't matter. It's not zero. It's unequivocally not zero. We know antibiotic use in animals contributes to resistance, resistant infections in people. The solution to antibiotic use in agriculture is awareness because as the public starts to learn, hey, when we use antibiotics in livestock, it can hurt people they will de increasingly demand antibiotic-free meat products. And that will help businesses understand our customers are asking for a move into this market segment, the antibiotic-free meat segment. That's what they're asking for. We should give them that. That's in our best business interest. The alignment of market forces with public good is something you don't see very often, but we have it here. So awareness will help us drive that alignment.